clutch bite is good, gearbox is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tyres and brakes, warm the tyres and brakes throughout the lap. We'll be seeing at least 20 minutes of light rain. All right, you guys, careful sector one here. Good luck. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. Be ready with the clutch. Apologies, Bobina. Okay, clear.
Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Green flag, green flag, we're racing again. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Drive-through penalty, you have a drive-through penalty. Safety car is in this lab, safety car in this lab, 
Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Only one stop to go, one stop left in this strategy. to the car in front is 39.1 seconds. Check your MFD for a new strategy option.
This light rain is going to be with us for a while now. Okay, gap ahead is 39.1 seconds. That was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. Yeah. And I know sometimes that uh catch the safety car slash stay under the delta it bounces around a little bit, but he might be able to race back up in line. I sure hope so. I uh I didn't get a good view of that contact because I was on board with um I think I was on board with Cam. I can't remember, but I was on board with somebody, and he got hit from his inside, so I couldn't that, see. Yeah, you, you were watching exactly who I was. It just whoever whoever got hit. It was Rafa, actually. I think it was Rafa. Well, so, uh, chaos says he caught a curb with maggots. Uh hey, chaos! It happens, man. You know what? That's exactly. Funnily enough, that's exactly where I DNF'd uh, on Monday. So. It do be like that. <laughs> yeah, and they're all coming into the pit now. Oh, and somebody got angry at a board, decided. Chaos, we're in the broadcasting channel. I don't think you have the role to, uh, to see it. Otherwise, I'd have you pop in. So let's see. It looks like... PLL was too far behind to take advantage of everybody else dropping into the pits. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate. But it ends up not costing him because he'll be right back in line. True. And not the worst in the world. Yeah, not the worst. I kind of wonder if it was him that hit Rafa on the inside because he, really, he went really wide on that corner. But then when Rafa spun, all I saw was Narkip. So I'm not sure. I, I think it, I think it was PLL. He, he had the damage running. I think, I think that's what I saw come across the screen. Yeah. I think that was just a really... Because when he went wide, he was basically going across that second corner, like, almost straight. So it was really right. just not a... Uh, obviously not, not ideal for him. So Trot and Rafa stayed out. Oh, they did. I'm yeah. interested to see what's their plan. That's they're banking on another safety car later. Could be. But it would just be a, it'd be a net... Yeah, they were just neko back to where they are, pretty much, or worse. I'm not sure. This is where people's strategies kind of go over my head because I just don't have the experience to know. Well, they could try sure to pull in. Reason. They could pull an Akon and just not pit and go full race. Yeah. With the with those enters, I mean, Cub and Nick are going to pass them like extremely quickly, being on fresh ones. But uh, who knows? Yeah, I'm not sure how bad the worn ones will make the difference. Here. Maybe uh, with it being as wet as it is, they can make it really difficult for you behind the pass. And so, I don't think the safety car is in the slab, or at least I haven't seen it as a thing, so... Which is unfortunate, as I think everybody was already together, so that kind of sucks. Oh, 
get a... Uh... Oh no, Umbratha retires from the session. What happened? What did I miss? I was out. Oh no, he got caught warming his tires. Oh no. And Narkip collides Narkip with PLL. Well, down to the... Uh, finish the race and earn yourself points status. True. But ah, oh, that sucks for Rafa. That is absolutely devastating. Because now we only have one to see how the uh, how not stopping is going to affect them. Hey Sakuri, could you drop me into the broadcast channel? Man, you hate to see. Uh, me. I cannot. I'm driving. Uh, okay. So Watch me though. Hold on. If my AI takes and AI over. And right after the beginning of the that first sector right at pit entry hey guys ah there's chaos freaking superhero cub driving in second also is able to micromanage discord incredible yeah there we go that's uh that's my repayment for giving him that drafting quality there you go perfect there you go i'm sure that he was uh grateful for that one so how about this race so far? You got the curve here? Uh, yeah, yeah, right, going on. right on, it was right on the entrance into Magus, I just caught the inside edge and suddenly flipped completely out to the left, there was no recovering the second I started to lose it, and I just went uh -huh. face first into the wall. Oof. But, so it goes, so it goes. More retirements than I'd have liked this season, but it happens, and, uh, you know, I uh, didn't have much time to practice, so I was pretty okay with my pace, actually, if I hadn't gotten that drive-through penalty for speeding behind the safety car. Yeah, those were always tough to take. Yeah, you're focusing on so many things, and then you suddenly realize that you have half a second to lose two seconds of time. Right, right. Here's the restart! And Tron gets away well, but Cub is hot on his tail. I have a feeling he will not stay there long, considering the fact that he's on the old enters. Got cams going up right behind Calculus. Yeah, they've been in a real tight battle this whole race. I took back and forth a few times. Well, the safety cars are definitely helping us. Brings everyone back together for a little while. Although this one seems to have caused a few more gaps pretty quickly. Now the big question is what's going to happen with Tron here because he's now in a really, really strange counter strategy to everyone else on track. Right, we were talking about that. Him and Rafa were the only ones that did pit. And now Rafa's gone. Right. So, so it leaves him just the lone survivor here. Tron's wide. Cubs got the line here. He's going to take it into maggots side by side. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, he yeah. backs up, but I think Tron's compromised his line a ton to do that. And that just yeah. allows Nick to get into the fight. Oh, and Cub has 100% of his ERS here, so he's going to start burning. And he's going to make that pass. Oh, they're going too wide into there. Nick, the opportunity oh. just comes into the back of Tron, but keeps it out. Tron goes back up the inside. Wow. And yeah, Tron getting in the way of Nick here. That's a Nick the pick. Sorry? Bad enough pun, or just bad enough? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll let you have it. Oh, there we go, some more side-by-side -side through Abby. Sorry, that's caught. uh, yes, that's Abby. Gotta remember these corners, they've all got names. Oh, he's coming around again? Tron, not Tron. backing out at all. Well, he's, yeah, I mean, he's, he's probably not gonna, oh, is he gonna fight security? Let's see. Let's see what the, what the Ferrari boys are gonna do this time. Is Tron gonna get out of the way? There's no team orders at Ferrari as they go side by side. Uh, Scurry takes the inside. He initially takes the pass here. And Tron... Yeah, he'll make that one stick. ...is going to have a hard time fighting this one back. Nobody else really battling except for 9 and 10. Narkip's uh, within half a second of PLL here. Oh yeah, and all of this group, like... We know that, that, that Cam, PLL, and Narkip all potentially have the pace to get by Cuthbert, but Cuthbert's good in the rain, yeah. so, you know, while I might sometimes say he's a few tenths down on him, that kind of gets a race when he's racing in tricky conditions. 
Yeah, it's kind of the thing with these wet races. There's a lot of wild cards that can change you know, oh, what yeah. you're used to here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I could definitely see Cuthbert going through to like a P5 in this race if we get a little bit more attrition. He's doing a really good job of holding these guys off. Bit of a gap forming to Mega Man, but he's again able to defend really effectively against Cambor and PLL and Narkin. Cub back into the fastest lap game with a 137.4. Tron is uh, struggling for grip out there at the moment. He almost lost it through Cops. It was. He was on a knife's edge, but he kept it under control and managed to keep Diego behind him. But Diego so you're is saying the strategy may not have been the best go. Well, let's not let's realize. not say it's played out yet, guys. Because remember, there could be more safety cars. This is a That's wet, exactly and it's going to stay wet the whole time. And also, everyone else is going to be pushing these enters right to the absolute limit. Speaking of uh, more crashes, Narket loses it on the uh, uh, what's that? Brooklyn's. What's the what's the tire side life side. of the enters look like? Uh, tire life, you can you can normally the strategy is just doing a doing a sort of a halfway pit stop. So this would be the normal right. pit window. Right. So if he wanted to, he could go for a pit right now. But I think at this point, Tron's gonna be willing to gamble because he's really hungry for a top result. He's been kind of getting you know ninth, tenth, not really getting the results. You know, keep in mind this guy is a uh, FRL season one champion. And we're going to have a little bit of uh, activity behind him because Mega Man is all over Diego and Diego himself has been looking at Tron. Yeah, Mega's going to force him to go for a move here. I may have crashed. Calculus Cam, another battle at uh, 7 8. With PLL close behind them. Oh, chaos has dropped. He said he yes, yes. Uh, my uh, my computer uh, explode. Uh, I'll be back oh, in just no. a moment. So does Nick the Quick just spend the whole race trying to stay right behind Cub and then fight him on the last couple of laps, or does he just not have it to get around him? Maybe you so. very often... Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. All right, you very often find Cub and Nick in those battles where they're both close enough to each other that neither can really get the move on the other. So a lot of the time, it feels like almost half of the time, races to them come down to if any of them ends up with a penalty, they're the one who comes second. I mean, neither one is really burning their ERS. Cub more than Nick. So it doesn't look like Nick's really trying to gain that position. He's just, just trying to hang out where he is and keep it safe. Well, this is a curious situation because it's not as if they have to worry about giving each other DRS. Right. All right, I'll be back into the race in just a moment. Or at least into the commentary booth. Currently, my race is being carried off in a pickup truck. <laughs> oh, we did we just? Oh, I just got a message saying Pabino retired. I'm like, hey, this this message just came in on the donkey. <laughs> oh. Let's pick up some of these. He's having trouble staying on track, and it looks like Diego's going to make his move. Not quite on this turn yet, but Diego's right, yeah, ah, right behind the good ground. So. That was nice. Beautiful move. Huh. The game just crashed a second time. Curious. Oh, that's not good. Nah, nah, not the best, not the best. But I suppose uh, this makes me kind of happy that it already crashed up by the time this happened. Yeah, the mid race crash is no fun. Whether it be car crash or computer crash. Indeed, indeed. So Tron down to five. Five. Mega Man right behind him. 
Uh, now, the interesting gonna... question is, if we get another safety car, Tron's absolutely going to pit, but is anyone else going to pit? Is someone going to say, you know what, I, I'm going to want fresh enters? Because the enters don't have that bad a, degra uh, a degradation state. At that point, I think you just kind of look at if the, you know, Cub, Cub will be in first, right? So if Cub jumps in, the rest of you kind of want to. Or do you all stay out and just let him fall? And I don't know. It's 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 tough both ways. It's, it's a very fun game to play. But of course, you know, we all know what happens if there's no safety cards. Tron makes a painfully late pit stop and just tumbles. Right. If you look at the delta, oh, Mega having a moment there, but keeps it on track. Uh, if you look at the delta between Tron and Diego, Diego's already almost pulled two seconds on him. So that's just about what half a lap. Yeah, so that's just how much uh, how much newer his tires are than Tron's. Mega's and it's a question of how much of that is the tire life, and how much of that is the fact that Diego's generally been a bit higher performing this season than Tron. So it's it's going to be a like bit of both. Like you say, Tron is a FRL Season 1 champion. Yeah, he's a talented driver. Yeah, it's, it's, the tires got to be stupid. 18 laps compared to... 6. 6, yeah. The tires are definitely screaming. And he's picked himself up a penalty to boot, so... That's not going to do him any well, man. No, but hey, you know what? Guarantee points this race that he managed yeah. to finish. Oh, e easy, easy words there. The guaranteed points yeah. only come in once he made it 24 laps. That's what I said. Just, just finish the race. Just yeah. finish. Yeah. We can that's say that we can say guaranteed points once we're at lap 24. Well, and once you get to lap 24, you still got two laps to go. Yes, but you still but get you classified get for points once you've done 90 percent of the race. Oh. So you can smash into a wall and you'll still get 10. These are things that you research when you're a guy who has sometimes crashed on the last lap. <laughs> I, I just did it in France trying to showboat across the finish line, just slammed <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> I, I gave Classy. the long start finish. Yeah, it was awesome. Only cost me, I think it cost me one place. So critical things going on in the race right now. Uh, Cuthbert has kept it clean, so even if DLL and Narkip are able to get past him, Calculus could be pretty easily picking up 8th because there's 3 seconds on PLL and 5 on Nark. And Camborn's picked up 6 seconds of penalty, so he's going to get just hurled down all the way to ninth place right now. Uh, actually, just barely into ninth place, although it's very close with him and PLL. He's made his way up in third. I didn't see yeah. when that happened. That's... Right now, the big move is going to be when Mega Man gets through here because he's really getting held up. You can see how much comes just hauling. Trans what? but not enough to lose speed. Man, sometimes I look up at the deltas for Cub and Nick, and it'll be 0.6, drop to 0.3, and then up to 0.5. Like, they must be taking these turns completely differently. They're really close right now. Nick is... Oh, oh. Hey, Nick got to back off. Yeah, he was going to go for that real tight line. You can see Cub's an energy recovery right now. So Cub has been spending a lot of ERS probably going for that fastest lap recently. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see. Let's uh, see where his energy recovery is at right now. Ah, you know what? He's actually fine. He's sitting at 80, 81 percent. Nick's at 89. They're laughing. Mega Man still stuck behind Tron here. And Tron's just taking such a good defensive oh. line. Just exactly. slamming just the door every single time. Here. Oh, 
Sean burning it too to try and stay ahead. He's not going to get around again. I think Mega Man's good now. I was wondering if he was going to go for an inside dive, oh, there but it's more of an inside cut. Ah, uh, Mick steals the fastest lap. I think Mega Man might have a cutback here unless Tron just places it and Mega Man can't get that tight exit that he needs. You can tell that he's impatient. Oh, here we go. He's looking for any gap he can find here. And it's costing him. He's just having all these little twitches and moments because he's having to keep the aggression tilted forwards the whole time. And look at this, Cam is just catching right back up to Mega Man. Remember when that back four uh, were quite a ways back? Well, Cam has just hauled himself back into contention because of how much Mega Man's race is just getting wrecked by being behind Tron. Keep in mind, Tron, uh, I don't think Tron's actually required to make a pit stop because these are wet conditions. Also, um, we just had uh, Cuthbert with a bit of a moment and he's lost his position to PLL. But PLL does have six seconds of penalties. Yeah, these penalties at the back are going to shake it up a little bit, but... Mega Man. I like, I like him being a bit further back here. He can go really fast through Megas and Beckus, not have to lift off, and then get a nice launch through the hangar straight. Let's see if he can do it right here. He's going for the deploy. So too is Tron. Mega Man's got a nice little draft here. Tron's going to probably run it defensive up the inside. So Mega Man pushes wide, he goes around the outside. Ah, nope. Tron holds the line. And Tron holds the position, but Mega Man is wow. not going to go for it. Very interesting that he's not willing to test out Tron's tires. But now the cutback oh, coming in through Veil and Flow. That was a good move. Finally makes it stick there. Mega Man's through, but at what cost? Look at that six and a half second gap up to Diego. They were I mean, right like next to each other. To So Either the top way, five still Mega's got to feel good about that move. That was a classy, classy move. Decided to yeah. back off, but then Tron goes wide. Instantly capitalized. So Tron could conceivably hold sixth here. He's not having to fight with Mega Man anymore, so he can just focus on time trialing. His tires are surely going to be very worn. But look at that. Cam and PLL have six second penalties. Cuthbert's way back. And uh, Narket, uh, even further back than that, uh, seven seconds on on uh, Cuthbert with penalties. So this could be a really nice result for Tron going for a no stopper in the wet. I don't know where he was before the safety car, but yeah, definitely taking that gamble and pushing to the front, just trying to hold as many places as he can. So Diego, 1.6 off of Sakuri, Nick is just holding that gap to come. I wonder if he's seeing if he can force Cub into an error. Let's have a little look at the race director and see if there's any warnings for them. So let's see. Nick gets another fastest lap. So they're still pushing. Nick has one warning, and Cub has one warning. They're both quite far away from a penalty right now. But, I mean, they're still pushing hard to the fastest laps. They're running. Nick's running out of time, though, so... He's gonna yep. Be Diego isn't quite able to close the gap. The closest battle's all the way down to 10. Yeah, and if Narco can get ahead of Cub... He needs to build one and a half seconds lap and then a little bit more if he wants to be able to clear out that penalty that he's got. Calculus, with the deploy down the Wellington Strait, he doesn't want to lose this position. Narkip's gonna have a real run on him here. I wonder if he's gonna try to do... No, no, he doesn't have a good enough run into cops here. Diego's falling back a little bit from Sakuri. Sakuri might be starting to tighten a grip on the podium position here. Oh, Nick's got himself back up to half a second. 
but you always have to, you know, take a take a big pinch of salt with that because he's just constantly fluctuating in the I'm pretty close to cub uh, range. Right. Well, they're both burning some some ERS, but he's right. He's right on Cub's rear. So Tron is still doing a fine job of holding off Camborn. And Nark right behind Cuthbert, but Cuthbert's still defending. And this time it's not going to be a battle like the one with Tron where there's a big tire disadvantage. Nark I'm gonna see if he can get a little bit of a cutback. He went left, then right, then left, and oh, Cuthbert is forced to the side. He goes a little bit too far wide, and Narkip Nark is able to slip his way up the rain tree. And now, can he possibly build up a five second gap? Cuthbert already lost a bit of time with that error. Now he's going to see, can I hold on to ninth? Double your points. Two is better than one. Nick is getting awfully close to Cub up here. He gets on his tail and he backs off, and it's going to be a battle to the final final line. Mega Man picks up what might be the most inconsequential penalty of all of these, since he is just floating out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, he lost too much time to Diego to catch up to him, but he's now too far ahead of Tron for that penalty to really matter at all. So, gentlemen, the penultimate lap. We've got two laps, just a bit less for a few of us, just a bit more for others left in this race. We've got Cub very tightly leading over Nick the Quick. We've got Diego chasing down Sakuri almost to within a second of him. And we have got a desperate time trial at the back. We've got Camborn, who is trying to get past Tron, but he's got penalties. And we have got Cuthbert, or Calculus, who is trying to stay within three, uh, within two seconds of Narkip. Notice that he's picked up penalties now, so he hits to hold that position. Oh, Cam has a moment. Dub, who was your third place pick? Was it Mega Man? Mine was PLL. I think uh, okay. your, what was your prediction again? I can't remember at this point. I've lost it. My prediction here <laughs> it was... It uh, wasn't Cub and Nick the Quick. Mine was Cub, Nick, Diego. I told Diego, That's okay, it. teammate, we, we got a podium tonight. We got a podium. And he's very close to one. It's just so freaking hard to pass in the wet, man. It certainly is. You have to always do it a sort of go-kart style move. It always has to be, you know, throw a dummy and then double back, force your opponent into a bad line, and then be able to capitalize it and get a line yourself that doesn't get, doesn't let them get in the way of you on your exit. Final lap, and it's the fastest lap for Nick the Quick. Yeah, he's burning a ton of ERS trying to close this gap. Now is the time. So it's looking like Narkip might be starting to solidify a grip on ninth place. Since Cuthbert isn't able to keep up the pace that he needs to hold it. Oh we Nick is close here. Goodness, you know he'd just love to make a move here. If you can get a, a nice exit. Turns, he's been Right he's, on his rear wing. Or a couple he's of going so tight through Luffield, though, he's not going to have a good chance for a lunge into Cobbs. And with drivers as good as these two, there's really no passing opportunity into Maggots and Beckets, which means that the only two remaining passing opportunities are going to be a lunge into Stowe at the end of the big hangar straight coming up after these S's, or into that final corner at Vale just by the pit entrance. Oh, Nick's got to run. This is it. This is the uh, moment. If there's going to be a move, this would have to be it. The battle for the lead. Here we go. He goes wide. He's going around the outside. Going He's going to have the inside line if he can just hold this. They're, they've got wheel overlap. Cub cannot pinch They're him side off. Side by side. Side by side into the final corners. Oh, and Cub, there we go. That's the oh, moment to come back. The cutback happens, but Cub gets his car in the way, and that is what it takes to win here in a rainy Silverstone. Wow. 
What a finish, but the race is okay, still going on. on We've got Diego, who is not able to catch Sakuri here. So Sakuri! Ferrari podium, and now we're into the penalty zone, but there's no relative penalties for Mega Man and yeah. Tron. So Mega's gonna right. make his way through. Tron is well in Cam, but Cam's gonna get thrown behind PLL. Or is he? Nope, nope, he's not. He holds seven. PLL through. Narket. Falls out of range here. He's not gonna make it either, so. Everyone there we go. Like well, we are. the penalties end up all being neutralized by the gaps the drivers were able to put up. So there you go, guys. Penalties don't matter. Nope. Just drive wherever you want. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nameless Nate's hypothesis about why don't I just straight line off the track through Maggots and Beckets? I have some merit. In ten seconds wouldn't have hurt him too bad today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't like the circumstances of casting on the day, which is theoretically my race day, but it has been a lot of fun casting with you guys. Hey man, we're happy to have you. Well, hey, thanks for thanks for joining. It was uh, yeah, absolutely. unfortunate. Uh, circumstance was brought you here, but I'm glad to have Well, I, I look at it in hindsight, and I wouldn't have caught up. There wasn't another safety car other than the one that I brought out, and I was consistently, like, 39 seconds down. I was just staying exactly that far back to the guys in front, so I don't think I really had the pace to do anything but solo for that whole race. So, retirement versus uh, DNF 12. Eh, kind of comes out about even to me, I suppose. All good. So despite not being able to pass on that last turn, Nick keeps his fastest lap, 136.3. So look at the and point there. Sakuri weasels himself onto the podium. And Tron, all the way up from ninth, gets some stuff sixth. Yeah, that's a that's a solid result. Uh, Tron and, you know, clever move with a, I don't need to pit you, no. Uh, I'll bet that many drivers made it work. Yeah, I'll bet that those mini drivers would think that the pit stop itself is mandatory, but that only applies in dry races. That's it. All right. So there we have it. That's going to be uh, AAFR. What's it? Round nine? Hit Silverstone. All right. That'll do it for us. Thank you for watching. Sorry if you could hear some background noise from my uh, brother in the background. That was not me. It was him. And I blame that fully on him. A brother not to be confused with the John brother over on our left indeed, here. Indeed. This is a different, different brother. brother. Different a closer brother. Closer. Well, I don't know, John. I think you're Closer by proximity. There, there we go. Right, that's true. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right, All right guys. Peace. We'll see you next time. Peace. This has been Brother John, Dubman and Chaos, signing up for AFR. Hey, you forgot it. And then thank you for. Tron with a no teammate. stop. <laughs> I'm a horrible teammate, I know. Oh, oh man. Teammate. That was insane. Who's okay. Who's Watching that, that final sector between Cub and Nick was incredible. They are so good, aren't they? Just, just wheel to wheel, side by side. Like neither one really giving up. We can kind of tell that Nick was holding back to the last two laps to really push, and we just we knew it was going to come down to that last turn. Yeah, I think I, I think I could have used a little more DR or ERS like the lap before. I like deployed too much like two laps before that. Could have well, maybe a little. It, uh, it earned you another point for the fastest lap, so. <laughs> Freaking hard, man! Comes so fast. It's like it's, it, was, it seemed like I could get to like five tenths, and then when I got to five tenths, it was just like just a little bit of dirty air. Yeah, I, I was guessing you can't really follow because of dirty air. Well, it, it was just like Cub, a traction, Cub, really. Cub does not make mistakes. It didn't look like. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I mean, I made plenty of mistakes. There's, no, especially you, you last lap. And yeah. you just you don't leave any opportunity for people to to make any move. Fast and wide. Park the bus, guys. That was a, it was a fun watch. Yeah, it was good. Good race, guys.
thank you so much for doing this. I, yeah, I thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks very much. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, it was good. I can't promise the most riveting commentary ever. We, uh, you know, it was a good time. We had fun. Shoutouts to Cub. Uh, I would consider that a reasonable trade for me, giving you a draft down the Wellington, uh, down the hangar straight in quality. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Sakuri so gave me a toe as well. Uh, you did. You got toes on both straights. We said it when we were well, watching. He, need, he, he got a nice he, toe. He needs all the help he can get, you know? Exactly. It's oh, the really. anti Nick Illuminati <laughs> coming to work. <laughs> All right, I gotta go have dinner. You guys, very good night, very good race, Diego. Uh, one mistake you would have passed. So, yeah, this race felt like Australia. Remember? Yeah, it, did. it absolutely did. It was the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Nice All race. Right. Yeah, same. See you guys.